Hello and a very warm welcome to the Amstel Gold Race. It's the ladies race, 126.8 kilometers, starting in Maastricht and ending in Berg in Tetblit. Well, the wind dying down for this race, but there were early attacks as they tried to get away to take on the first of 19 hills. As they come up to the Kahlberg again, and this is where we're going to join the race live. It's only about 20, well, 20 riders in the front here, Rob. This last lap, this is really detonated now. Group of three just sneaking off the front there. It's an American, an Australian and an Italian represented. The break is done for now and Nivia Doma is going on her own. So how can Longo Borghini react? This is the lead. These are the four riders we're most interested in at the moment. 23 seconds of a gap for Spratt at the front, followed by Nivia Doma behind in the dark jersey of Canyon Schramm, in the blue and white of Trek Segafredo, Elisa Longo Borghini's. So it comes together again. But another attack from one of the riders from Trek on the right hand side. Is Longo Borghini again? Yep, Longo Borghini going once more. Wow. It's all of those riders are in the breakaway who still look to be the strongest riders. I mean, just over the top of the climb. The climb's out of the way again, using her power in the right places. So not just riding strongly, but thinking about using a record. Nobody but chasing here, Matt. Nobody big, big chasing. Moment. They're all across the front. Huge moment. There has to be a reaction. Spratt now makes a move to try and close the gap. And Moulman Passio waits a little longer than you'd expect from her. And here we are, three kilometers to go, Kalberg remains, and then that false flat downhill to the finish with a tailwind. Nivia Domma on the right hand side, Foss. taking Foss with her, and that's a danger. Mariana Foss, who's never won this race, one small thing missing from her brilliant, gigantesque palmares. Can she add it? Nivia Domma here is riding away from them. She's tried and tried and tried at this race. Can she finally take home the Amstel Gold Prize? That's when Flutten is putting in an extra effort to try and close the gap. She is closing, but is she going to close enough? I'm not sure she is, you know, because Nivia Domma comes for 300 metres to go. She's going to have it, I think, now for Canyon Shram. It's going to be a huge win. Oh, look at from Flutten go, though. What a finish to Amstel Gold. Inside 200 metres now. Nivia Domma coming up to the line. Nivia Domma's going to do it i think she is she's holding on for dear life though what an exciting finish 75 meters as from flutton goes nivia Doma's there nivia Doma's gonna have it oh it's breathless stuff to the line what a finish they had us hanging on they had us betting Annemiek from flutton set off in the chase but it wasn't enough it is kasha nivia Doma of canyon shram racing who takes another absolutely enthralling race at the Amstel Gold. Don't know about you, Matt, I'm off for a lie down. An unbelievable victory by Cassia Nuiadoma. That was something very, very special indeed. Top 10 at the Amstel Gold Race with Kasia Nivyadoma finishing top of the tree. Anna Mick van Flutten in second place with Mariana Foss in third. Annika Longford finishing best for Bulls Dolmans. Soraya Paladin, brilliant ride from the Ale Cipollini rider. Cecilia Turp Ludwig was up there with uh, Marta Bastianelli. A great performance from the sprinter again. Winner of the Ronde van Vlaanderen a few weeks ago. She finishes in eighth with Alison Jackson and uh, Elisa Balsamo. To be honest, I still can't believe what happened. Why not? I mean, like, I'm just filled with so many different emotions and feelings and... What is the most important emotion you're feeling now? I, I feel like I'm just shivering right now, you know, inside, like, just like, oh my goodness, what have I done? Like, you know, I mean, I've been wanting, like, so much to win in Amstel Gold Race. And I've been dreaming about that and just, like, mostly like working on my head that everything is possible if I only want it and it just happened so like it's like you know my dream came true and yeah it's, it's just so amazing <laughs> winning is beautiful and that's why we all do it that's why we all push all our limits to just like finally cl cross the finish line with our hands up in the air you know I've been told over the past few months that I should be saving myself, that I should be waiting for the final, doing nothing, but then I just burned myself within. So I need to feel that I'm racing in order to be able to really give all my like power and energy in the last attack. If I feel that I'm in the race 
and I'm kind of in charge of situ every single situation, then I feel like, okay, I can do it. I'm more confident and that's what I need.